Hello everyone, my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be doing another get ready with me using my cohorted beauty box. So this is August's one and there's only two makeup products in this box. So I have also once again got a few more bits from Barry M um, to try out. Um, the reason why it's Barry M two months in a row is because I'm planning on doing like a full face of Barry M throughout this month, probably towards the end of this month they'll go up. Uh, but there's not a lot I've really got to try here, so it's for the most part it's going to be a kind of standard get ready with me. But I will also talk about this beauty box. So I'm just going to go through the products in the order that they are here in the book. We've got two hair care products from a brand called Sasha, Sasha, Sasha Juan. And they did come in this little thing here, but I have taken them out. So one is called Hair in the Sun, and one is Hair After the Sun. They're basically like sunscreen for your hair and they're like proper like big bottles as well but not like the tiny sample sizes that we often get in these boxes and um, they're both worth £20 each so the hair after the sun one says here that it's the description is refresh your tresses with the hair after sun treatment powered by Sasha Joanne's signature ocean silk silk technology which nourishes hair and quenches parched thirsty strands in order to restore shine and moisture after exposure to sunlight, the highly conditioning cream can be rinsed out or used as a leave-in lotion and then styled as desired. After all, the perfect summer day shouldn't have to come with consequences. Okay, so I think it's the kind of thing that you can like leave it in your hair, um, but you could also wash it out, like you kind of have both options there. So after sun exposure, apply a small amount and work it into your hair until the lotion is fully absorbed. Style as desired, wash out or leave in for maximum nourishment. I think if I was using this on a regular basis, I'd probably want to just leave it in. So I won't be trying that one out today, but the next one I have already actually put on. I obviously just had a shower, which is why my hair's wet. So I did put some of this in and it smells absolutely incredible. It's also like the liquid is orange, which I thought was quite cool. It does kind of smell quite orangey as well. And it felt super silky on my hair, super nice. I basically just kind of got it in my hands and rubbed it all in and then just brushed through it. And it just made my hair so silky and lovely. I don't even know if I'm going to leave the house today, but I mean, I guess it's nice to have hair sunscreen on anyway. Um, for this one, it says protect your lovely locks from the summers sun damaging rays with the hair in the sun cream enriched with potent uv filters and the revolutionary ocean silk technology to shield strands from sun damage and save hair color as you soak up the rays with a gorgeous scent and lightweight texture it provides a subtle hold that will stay put through rinsing and swimming the perfect beach buddy for your hair so yes i have used this one already and I like it from first impressions. Obviously I've still got to try out this one. I feel like this is probably the one that you'd want to put in at the end of the day, like after you've kind of been out in the sun for the day. Um, I'd probably maybe like if I'm taking off my makeup, just rub a bit of it through my hair. But I feel like this one is kind of one you want to use like after you've had a shower when you've got wet hair. Uh, so the next thing is some Gucci, which Gucci, holy shit. Uh, this is the Impact Longwear Eye Pencil with sharpener and you could either get iconic black or midnight blue and thank god I got the black one because I would have really preferred the black one because um, I use black pencil liners in my waterline literally like every single time I do my makeup so this is totally up my street so yeah you do get a sharpener which is pretty cool and it looks super bougie that's what the pencil looks like it just kind of looked like your standard kind of creamy liner and then you've also got this kind of like smudgy bit on the other end which i guess if you're putting it like on your lash line you could use that to like give it like a diffused smoky look that's pretty cool i'm excited to try that and that one's worth 32 pounds um so the next thing is from a brand called space masks and this is worth 15 pounds and it says here think you've tried everything to combat restless nights Try the only eye mask that will transport you to another dimension. Space masks are jasmine scented and self-heating, helping to relieve eye tension from long days at work, excessive screen staring, stress and headaches that can affect the eyes too. This mask aids in calming you down and relaxing your mind, giving you a peaceful good night's sleep. Now, I definitely have long days at work and I definitely have excessive screen staring, stress, headaches, all those things. So this is the kind of thing I need in my life. You use it apparently, you open the pouch, unfold the mask, 
place it over your eyes so it is literally like you know like the eye mask that people sleep with sometimes and apparently it's supposed to heat up when it comes in contact with the oxygen molecules in the air and it says to just relax and enjoy 15 minutes of it um, so I might as well try this out today the next thing is another hair product and I have also put this one on my hair as well I thought I might as well since my hair's damp um, this is from a brand called Paul Yacomin it's a micro finish number two organic essential oils and it's worth £12 and that's what the little packaging looks like it's actually quite cute with the little funnel thing up here it is only like a small one though so it says here for slightly heavier hair types that require a smoother more defined cuticle use after drying depending on hair length and texture shake or tap two to three drops into palms and apply in a sweeping movement concentrating on the ends high absorbency essential oils provide the best conditioning benefits that can also weigh the hair down micro employs skincare technology to enhance the distribution of these oils by distributing micro amounts evenly concentrating only on the parts of the hair shaft that need it preventing the hair from becoming overloaded <coughs> For instructions it said on damp hair pump 5 to 10 bending on hair thickness and texture into palms and applying the sweeping movement comb through to ends which is what I did after I used the um, hair in the sun one I just got a bit of this in my hands rubbed it in and then brushed through my hair and again it has an absolutely amazing smell oh so good I love that smell overall my hair's just feeling <clears throat> very nice right now I do quite like hair care products just because I have got very damaged hair from when I bleached it last year so getting little things like this I quite like so there's only one other makeup product this is from Laura Geller we tend to get Laura Geller a lot in these boxes I find this is the easy illuminating stick in glided honey and it's apparently worth it's worth 21 pounds it says that you can apply the easy to use stick on bare skin or over foundation to the cheekbones of bridge of your nose, cupid's bow, lips or anywhere else in your face for a kiss of shimmering luminosity and that is what it looks like there. It is more of a bronzy tone but it's not like a really like harsh pigment if that makes sense so that's it just on my hand there. Now I don't really use like cream products like this a lot. I feel like the way I'd prefer to use this is under my foundation because I feel like that way it's less likely to kind of like congeal with your foundation. Uh, I might see if it works over the top of foundation, I mean why not, we might as well try it but generally I prefer powder highlighters but I'm open minded, let's give it a go. So I believe that is everything in the box. I'm going to try this mask on, obviously I'm not going to film me sitting here for 15 minutes but I will just show you me putting it on. I have got a little bit of a headache so I kind of wouldn't mind using something like this. I think you literally just open it and put it around your ears. Your ears? What? So I'm kind of interested to see if this actually heats up. Let's open it and see. Okay, so it's not like a one that goes around your head. You literally like clip it into your ears like that. Okay, um, I can't see now. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and I'll see you then. Let's see if I can try and stop this recording. So I don't know if it's been 15 minutes or not, but that was a very nice experience. <laughs> okay, so I can confirm, oh my God, it's really nice. I can confirm that it definitely does heat up. It feels really like nice and warm, like toasty, but not obviously to the point where it's like scolding you or anything like that. And oh my god, like, I feel like it's so like kind of numb, but like in a nice way in my whole eye area. That feels really nice. Is this reusable? That's what I want to know. Because I kind of want to use that again. <laughs> Even my voice has gone weird. I feel so relaxed. <laughs> right, I'm going to put it back in the packet. I have no idea whether it's reusable or not, but I'll just leave it there for now. And I'll figure that out at a later date. Um, I would recommend though, that feels really nice. Like quite enjoyed that experience I feel like so like my skin even feels quite like soft and like smooth around there as well um that's nice I do just feel a bit more like less congested in my head so that's nice uh should we do some makeup now <laughs> uh so I'm gonna start with eyes um 
which is fitting considering we've just used that eye relaxing product and we're going to do some sort of eyeshadow look i don't know what i'm going to go in with this art deco camouflage cream this is in neutralizing green i believe this shade is that's what it looks like there it's actually more of a beigey yellowy color but it has a bit of a green undertone to it and this is really thick and quite full coverage i'm going to use this as a base for eyeshadow sorry eyes i have to disturb you again welcome back to reality I'm just going to use this milky powder by a brand called Inuit, it's just a translucent powder just to set that concealer down on my eyes. I do have a few little eyeshadow bits that I got from Barry M, uh, I'm not sure if I want to use any or all of these or whatever. Um, so the first thing I got is the holographic eyeshadow topper. And this one isn't supernova and it actually looks like stunning it is beautiful i definitely feel like i have to use this in one of my full face of barry m looks a little swatch of it there it looks stunning i love that i also got this barry m crushed jewel cream eyeshadow in the shade twilight um this is kind of like a royal purple color but i feel like online it looked a bit lighter whereas this is actually quite like dark that's what it looks like there actually that doesn't look too bad um i think i might try this one out today i'm not sure um it's pretty but i kind of expected it to be a bit more of a vibrant purple sort of color but the formula looks pretty decent i also got two of the barry m dazzle dust i got a blue one and a white one the blue one is the shade 22 that's the color there let me just get the lid off the ones don't have like a thing at the top to protect it so you've got to be quite careful with these and then uh, the white one is the shade 107 and that's what it looks like there so that's all i really have in terms of new eyeshadow products to try out but whether or not i want to use them that's another question now i'm just looking at all my eyeshadow and i'm like i don't know what to do i'm gonna get my pro artist refillable palette that has a bunch of random stuff in it <laughs> i'm gonna start with this here this is the makeup geek contour um pan that i got in my last first impressions i think the shades love triangle it is a love triangle a warm porcelain i'm gonna start and use this as a transition shade i've not used this as an eyeshadow before yet now i'm going to go in with the crushed jewel twilight and i'm gonna just put this over the base of my eyelid and see where this goes and i have no idea what i'm doing but i'm just gonna place a bit down and then um, probably blend it out with my finger and see where it goes from there okay this is looking a bit weird <laughs> I mean, it is definitely pigmented, it's definitely creamy, it's an interesting colour, it's very dark. Are you expecting like a more fluorescent kind of purple? That's not what you're getting. <laughs> right, I'm going to go in one of the dark reddish shades in this palette. This is probably like Freedom Make a Revolution, I don't even know. I'm getting this more compact brush. I'm going to try and blend if I can. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> no, this is going so wrong. Okay, I feel like once this kind of dries down, it's kind of not going to move. Pre-warning here. <clears throat> yeah, so that crushed jewel thing, you need to work with it while it's moist. Don't wait for it to dry down. <laughs> I think, you know, I'm sort of making it work. It does look a bit scary, but you know. Gonna go in with this glitzy red color here. This is apparently a uh, Pro Artist Eye Feels HD Burnt Burnt Bridges. I'm getting a smudgy brush and I'm just gonna kind of work this kind of for the crease to sort of like blend. I don't, I don't who knows what I'm doing at this point. Yeah. 
I'm not going to go in with this white shade. It's like a white glimmery. What is it? Uh, I think this is a NYX one. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, we are now trying out this Gucci eyeliner. I do my top and bottom water lines, but I think I might smudge a bit on my lash line as well, seeming as we've gone completely smoky. Not gonna lie, I thought Gucci would be a bit more pigmented than that. It's not the most, like, intense. Like, you can definitely build it up. I mean, it looks all right in the end, but I've got way more pigmented eyeliners than this in my collection. Um, I'm gonna put a bit of this on my lash line as well. And I'm now gonna use the weird smudgy thing on the other end. And see what exactly that does, if anything. Smudged out pretty good. It would look so dark and grungy today. I actually have got two mascara products to try out. One is a lash primer. Again, it's from Barry M. This is the Lash Shaver Volumizing Growth Accelerating Lash Primer, and it looks like this. And I also got the Feature Length Black Mascara, which comes in this bottle here. The lash primer is a white mascara, that's what the wand looks like. It's what the wand of the regular mascara looks like, quite a thin one. So I'm going to go in with the lash primer on my top lashes, and then we'll use the regular mascara. So that's how the lashes have turned out. I actually think it's not a bad combo at all. Definitely has got some thickness there. I feel like it could be a bit like more volume, a bit more length, but I feel like it's really not too bad. We'll have to use those both some more. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our face. Um, I'm gonna try out this Laura Geller illuminating stick, kind of like as a glowy sort of primer. So I think I'm just maybe gonna like smear a bit of this all over and then blend it in god knows okay so that has given my skin some a radiance very nice for foundation i'm going to go in with the it cosmetics cc cream in fair which i got in my last first impressions For concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. I'm just going to pop a bit of this under my eyes, my nose and around my mouth. Uh, so before I set my face, I may as well just try out this illuminator again. I um, hope that it doesn't congeal. I'm just going to get it on my finger and just kind of dab a bit of this in my cheek area just kind of use your highlight spots i'll put it on and just hope that it blends and doesn't take off my foundation completely okay so it's a very like natural highlight it's not super radiant and glowy and pigmented but it does give you like a nice little bit of kind of dewiness which is quite nice doesn't seem to have congealed weirdly. We'll see what happens when I set my face though, but it's actually quite nice. It seems to be working. The powder, I'm once again gonna go in with the Inuit Milky Powder. Okay, so far you can see the highlight a little bit after powdering but it's definitely more in the subtle side. It doesn't seem to have sat weirdly, so I guess that's good. I'm gonna use my Laura Geller Beach Matte Bait Hydrating Bronzer in CS Medium from last month's Cohorted. And bronze up my face a bit. I'm kind of mildly curious to see if this Barium Dazzle Dust, the white one, might work as a highlighter. 
I'm gonna see if I can do this without getting it everywhere. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Okay, okay, this is this may have been a mistake. This is too much. I mean it works. Like it's very glowy. And it's kind of got a lot of like kind of bluey purpley hues on it, which is quite interesting, but it's a bit of a um contrast to my skin. I mean hey, it does work as a highlighter. Pretty glowy. Just maybe be careful of how you apply it. it works it works wigglily right just gonna get off the foundation lips foundation lips are off i'm gonna put on a bit of the skin chemist lip plump from a last month's box so i'm just gonna use some clear brow gel just to brush through my brows so i have got a new brow pencil to try out obviously from barry m it's their Brow Wow Pencil and Brush in medium dark. It's quite a dark brown colour. And my hair is black at the moment, so it might be a bit light, but whatever. We'll go with it. So let's just fill in our brows. That's worked pretty well, I think. I like it. I think my one issue with it is that the formula is quite similar to like a standard eyeliner so it's quite hard to, I mean it's quite easy to make it a bit splodgy so I tried to be quite like, uh, what's the opposite of heavy handed, <laughs> light handed with it. Um, it blended pretty well with the spoolie though so that's good. I like it, I do like it actually, I think it's worked well. May as well use the accompanying Take A Brow Shape and Define Brow Gel from Barium to set them in place. On the lower lash line, I'm gonna again go in with the dark red I used in the crease and I'll just smudge this underneath. Again, I think I'm gonna use a bit of the leftover dazzle dust I have in the lid and pop this in the inner corner. Go back in with the same lash primer and mascara on the bottom lashes. For the lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in Delicate Lust, which is like a cool toned light brown nude. So that's everything done, just gonna clean it up and brush my hair. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. So obviously this box didn't have a lot of makeup in. Uh, the two products that were in it, the Gucci eyeliner was like okay, but I'm not too blown away by it to be honest. I feel like it could have been more pigmented. Uh, the sharpener is quite cute, I'll get a lot of use out of the sharpener. Like I like it, I feel like I prefer the look of it kind of smudged out on top of the lash line as opposed to in the waterline so maybe I'd use it for that instead. The illuminating stick I like, like I would use that, I'd probably use it just like under foundation and it, it did work on top of foundation just before powder. It's okay but like it's just not particularly great, it's not the most pigmented. Um, it sits well on my skin considering it's a cream highlighter but Mm, yeah, yeah. But anything in the box I would say my favourite items are the hair products and the mask. I actually really like the mask. I really hope I can reuse this because this this is cute. I liked it. I felt very relaxed. In terms of the Barry M stuff I used, uh, there wasn't an awful lot of it. The brow pencil worked pretty well. The uh, lash primer and mascara worked pretty well. Not my favourite but they're okay. Um, the crushed jewel um, the crushed jewel 
cream eye thing. Uh, it's very, definitely very pigmented and workable and I think it did turn out looking all right in the end. Just be wary the color is darker than what it looks like on the website and once it dries, that, that's you're not gonna be able to blend it after that. But I do actually quite like it in terms of pigmentation and the overall look is okay. And that Dazzle Dust actually kind of works quite nicely as a highlight. You know, once it's kind of like blended and dispersed, it's not too bad actually. My hair is now kind of like dried and um, those hair products have definitely made my hair feel really like nice and considering I've got very damaged hair, my hair definitely just feel a lot like nicer <laughs> than it normally does. I think I'll start incorporating these into my hair routine and the oil. So overall this isn't my favourite box ever. It's not like really blowing me away and if anything the non-makeup products were the best part of the box but I mean it was okay. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.